So I tell people all the time, if I could own real estate anywhere in the city of Atlanta, it wouldn't be in Midtown, it wouldn't be in Buckhead, but actually be on the west side of Atlanta. So in today's video, we're gonna do a full vlog tour of the west side. We're gonna talk about the amenities that are here, the ones that are coming. We're gonna talk about why it's growing so quickly. We're gonna look at a house on the market right now in the west side and you know some of the architectural styles that you'll see. Basically, all the information that you need to know to finally realize the west end is the best end. Coming up right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living in Atlanta. I'm hiding out in this tunnel right now because I am sweating the humidity. It's August right now in Atlanta. The humidity is absolutely terrible, but welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, basically this channel is all about Atlanta. Everything you need to know about living here, the things to do, the cost of living, you know, the areas that could be right for you and your family. My name's Mark. I'm a real estate agent here in Atlanta, and if you have any home buying or selling needs, give me a call. All my information is in the description below. We would love to hear from you. All right, so right now I'm hanging out in this tunnel on the Beltline on the west side of Atlanta, and if you look behind me and were to head that way down the Beltline Trail, you'd actually be heading towards my house, uh, towards South Atlanta, and behind me is uh, heading up north which is the direction that we're gonna go to check out the Lee and White area. But this is one of the main benefits of the West Side and one of the reasons I'm so confident that it's just gonna grow and grow and eventually become one of the premier neighborhoods in all of the city. But we'll talk about a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Uh, real quick, I always like to make sure you know exactly where we're talking about you know, as you pull up a map. So let's just pull up a map and see exactly where is the west side and what are the neighborhoods that I'm gonna be referring to today? So let's go check that out. All right, so let's take a look at where we're hanging out today. We've got our map of Atlanta pulled up and let's zoom in on the west side of Atlanta. Now there are a lot of great neighborhoods on this side of town. We're gonna to be spending a lot of time on the west end today. I really love Mosley Park. It's one of the best neighborhoods in Atlanta. Westlake has so many cool mid-century modern homes. A lot of really cool homes over here. Uh, and there's, there's uh, Hunter Hills, Ashview Heights is another one that I'm a big fan of. Um, but when you see our video today uh, at Lee and White and the Beltline, here's where I'm walking. Okay, this is where the Beltline is. This is where all the amenities that we're going to be talking about today. Now, like I'll say in the video, things can change rapidly. Okay, once you go north of Joseph E. Boone, you get into Bankhead, you get into Vine City, which... Um, not bad places to live, but in some parts they are higher crime areas. Same thing when you go south of this area into Oakland City and Venetian Hills. Okay, but Capitol View and Capitol View Manor are some of my favorite neighborhoods in the city. So things change rapidly in Atlanta. You need someone who's from here really kind of guiding you into the pros and cons of each area. But this is where we're hanging out today. Okay, and you're going to hear me reference the east side of Atlanta a lot today around Inman Park. That's where we're talking about when I reference that. Now, the Beltline, where is the Beltline? Okay, if you're interested in the Beltline, go to Beltline.org. Here is the map of the Beltline. That's that old railway corridor, and you can see it runs right through where we're talking about. So all the neighborhoods here are going to be affected. And when I talk about the parallels, you see how the Beltline goes through Inman Park. Okay, there's a really cool website. You can see what's been paved and what hasn't been paved. Uh, you can see the neighborhoods that are considered Beltline neighborhoods. That is really important, you know, for investment purposes. So this is a great website, uh, but this is where we're talking about today. We're on the west side of Atlanta. Uh, we're in the West End, which is an actual neighborhood, and uh, a few other neighborhoods today. And this is... The Beltline project, the project that is impacting the city in a lot of positive ways. So now you know where we're hanging out today. All right, so now you know where we're talking about. Let's do amenities and then growth, and then we can look at uh, some architecture and look at a home for sale in the market right now. All right, so amenities. So I'm walking down the Beltline. Uh, this is a section of the Beltline is paved. But really, you know, these neighborhoods in the west side of Atlanta, mostly being Beltline accessible neighborhoods, is one of the reasons that I'm so bullish on the future of the west side neighborhoods. And if you're not familiar with the Beltline, it's deceptively simple. It's basically just an old railroad track that forms a smaller circle around downtown Atlanta 
that has been ripped up and paved mostly and it's really connecting these neighborhoods that have not been connected ever before so you know a paved loop around the city might not sound like a big deal but Atlanta is not dense I've said this many times you know Atlanta is a sprawling city this is why you need to own a car if you live here okay you can't just really walk from neighborhood to neighborhood like you can in a larger more dense city so what the Beltline has done and a lot of areas of the city has connected it so for example on the east side uh, around Inman Park and a lot of the most hot neighborhoods on the market in Atlanta right now you can walk from Inman Park to the Midtown area to Piedmont Park really faster than you can drive there so uh, what this allows you to do is go out for a day on the town and enjoy multiple neighborhoods without having to hop in your car as often and of course people are uh, biking walking running uh, taking scooters down these trails it's uh, pretty early in the morning so you're not going to see as much traffic over here but uh, very well used especially in the midtown area so it's a huge amenity for atlantans and there are additional amenities popping up around the Beltline. So restaurants, bars, just tons of things to do that are super popular for people who live in the city. And really what you see on the east side is that the Beltline took neighborhoods that were already flourishing and really made them explode into some of the most expensive real estate in the city. And I have a lot of reasons to believe in the future, 10, 15, maybe 20 years from now, the same thing is going to happen on the west side. It already is happening. You see me walking on the Beltline Trail, there are people out here and we're gonna pull up to the Lee and White development which is a great example of amenities that have already popped up around the Beltline on the west side of Atlanta so you can really see the vision for the future you know if you're from the city if you're familiar with the area you can see the parallels between the east side around Inman Park and you know the west side in the areas that we are right now so you can see we're about to get on the entrance to go right into the Lee and White development and there are some amazing amenities over here that have become really popular for Atlantans. Let's go check them out. All right, so I'm hanging out here in the back of the Lee and White development by Wild Heaven Brewery, which is a great brewery, by the way. Hopefully the music's not too loud, but uh, I'm gonna take some gimbal footage. I'm gonna walk all around this area, so as I talk, you can see what I'm talking about. All of the crazy development going on in this area. So this was, you'll see from the footage, maybe five or six warehouse spaces that were completely unused uh, that have now been developed into many, many businesses. So you'll see as I walk around, actually there's three breweries. There's actually uh, Wild Heaven behind me, there's Monday Night Garage, and there's uh, the Best End Brewing Company. So three breweries all in the same location. There's a distillery, uh, there's Hop City, which is one of my favorite places to grab beer. Uh, there's a kombucha shop, there's other types of retail, and they're still in development. You'll see all the development going on as I walk around. So, you know, this is the signs of life. This is the signs of the future. This is bringing people uh, here to visit and it's bringing people here to live. And of course, this stuff on its own might not be impactful, but we just walked off the Beltline to enjoy this stuff, which means when we're done, we can walk back on the Beltline. And remember, this is a full loop around the city. It's not completely paved, but I could walk south towards my house in people's town right now uh, it would take a while actually usually what we do is park at a friend's house in capital view and walk over here it's not that long but um you could really just make a day of it i mean you can get your exercise in you can be outside and you can stop get a drink and uh hop back on the belt line if you want so it it seems overly simplistic but uh it's had a massive impact on all of the Beltline neighborhoods, which are the neighborhoods throughout the city that the Beltline runs through. And there are a lot of neighborhoods on the west side that the Beltline runs through. So the Beltline's here, the Lee and White development is here. There are some major amenities and this isn't the only area where the west side is growing. We're gonna check out a couple other areas uh, that are super popular. So let's go change locations and check out, you know, where the West End Mall is gonna be redeveloped and a couple other businesses that are already thriving on the west side of Atlanta. All right, so we're still in Westview area and uh, actually 
Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm walking in this uh, nice little retail district. And again, it's an area where you can really see the vision for the future. And there's one business in particular that's already killing it. So walking up past Slutty Vegan, which is um, incredibly popular. Usually uh, you'll come over here in the afternoon and there'll be an insane line. So very popular vegan spot on the west side and I think they're opening up one in New York but look it up like 23,000 five-star reviews but uh, super popular so you know as you're driving through this area and there's a big line behind here you can again see the vision for the future so there's already a lot of very popular amenities on this side of town that's drawing visitors and of course drawing people to live here all right so right now i'm back on the west end and i'm actually walking through the parking lot of the west end mall uh, which is still in use there's a lot of businesses over here uh, but it's a little run down uh, this particular area is classified as a food desert and so it's in line for a massive redevelopment it's switched hands a couple times uh, but as of right now the plan is there's about 250,000 square feet of uh, retail and living space going in here uh, including a fresh grocery market to kind of combat that food desert status and also part of that plan are about 650 to 900 mixed income apartments with about 25 percent of those designated for affordable housing uh, so hopefully that'll help people living in this area uh, have some affordable housing and continue to live in this area. Also have a refresh and uh, have retail and living that is going to vitalize the area, hopefully in a responsible way, but in a way that really just adds to the community, adds to the value in the area, and uh, hopefully has a lot of positive impact. So uh, it's gonna be a massive development. It's still just planning, you know, no one has broken ground yet, but again, long term but you can just see how this entire area is going to be completely transformed by that there are also plans for a hotel and uh, all the work in the area is estimated to bring in at least 500 jobs to this neighborhood so hopefully it will be a net positive for the community all right so you can see not only is there a lot that's already happened in this part of town but a lot that is planned for the future and it's not just bars and restaurants in the Beltline. it's also a park that is going to be bigger than Piedmont Park it's gonna be the largest green space the largest park in Atlanta and it's on the west side I've talked about it before uh, but it's the west side park at Bellwood Quarry uh, in the neighborhood uh, referred to as Grove Park which is on the west side of Atlanta a little further north from where we are right now let's go look at some footage of the west side park it's absolutely gorgeous there's a quarry there it's new it's fresh and uh, it's only partially open okay it is yet to be completely developed it's gonna be an absolutely massive green space uh, uh, that will grow in popularity over time but again there's just all these factors adding up to a bright bright future for this part of town so let's go check out the west side park So as you can see, Westside Park is really cool. If you're already in Atlanta and you haven't checked it out already, definitely go check it out. It's a very relaxing place. A lot of times there's really no one there. So, all right, we've talked about amenities, talked about why, you know, the west side of Atlanta is growing so much. What about the history? What about the culture? You know, there's a lot of history and culture here. A lot of these neighborhoods were at the heart of the civil rights movement, which makes up so much of the culture in Atlanta. And you've got a lot of the most significant historically black colleges and universities on the west side, including Morehouse, Spelman, and many others. So a lot of great higher education options over on this side of town. Just a lot of history, a lot of culture. As you see the homes on this side of town, as you get to tour them, as you get to have conversations with the families that have owned them, uh, for many years. It's incredible some of the stories that I've been told about. It's amazing some of the stories that I've heard from, you know, owners and families of owners of, you know, homes on this side of town and, you know, the, the meetings and the congregations that went on and just a huge part of history that the west side of Atlanta makes up. So uh, let's go look at a home on the market right now on the west side of Atlanta. So one of the cooler things about being on the west side of Atlanta is all of the older homes. As you drive through, there are a lot of hundred plus year old homes with tons of character type of home that I like a little different from your cookie cutter flip or renovation that you'll see throughout the city now some people like new construction some people like a more modern feel but if you do like that sense of history if you like the character if you like the old materials and the connection to history then there are plenty of options for you on the west side uh, we're gonna check out this gorgeous 
hundred plus year old craftsman bungalow but i've also driven through streets in westview which we're at right now with uh, a lot of mid-century modern homes and then you have what you see behind me which is a 100 plus year old craftsman bungalow retained a lot of the original materials from when it was built so it's got a lot of character it's got a really nice feel to it so let's go check out this home see some of the features that really stand out and see what you think <music> Yeah, so this is a beautiful home, just like I thought from the listing photos. As soon as you walk in this, it's got a really solid, heavy feel, the hardwood floors. Uh, a lot of homes this age will have particularly high ceilings. Uh, this one in particular does not have super high ceilings, but uh, there are a lot of just features that give it a very unique feel, uh, a lot of character, and something that you don't see in all the typical renovations around the city. So one thing you'll see in a lot of these 100 plus year old craftsman bungalows around Atlanta is all of these brick fireplaces. Uh, there's only one in this house, but in a lot of the examples throughout the city, you know, there'll be six or seven throughout the house. At this age, a lot of time they're just locked up and out of use but again uh, very nice to look at adds a lot of character and sometimes you'll find still working examples so another feature you'll see in a lot of these 100 plus year old craftsman bungalows is just really wide baseboards or you know wide molding going around the entryways and the doorways gives it a really nice solid feel very significant all throughout the house and as we walk through you'll see that this home has a nice blend of original characteristics and some modern upgrades you know you want most of your bathrooms updated so it's got newer fixtures so I think they did a really nice job in blending the old with the new one of the things I'm always on the lookout for and something you see quite often around Atlanta are these heart pine floors. These are really gorgeous. They don't make them anymore. They're hard to find. And actually some developers and builders will you know, purchase the floor out of other people's homes to put in their renovation project. So you see there's a few different types of flooring as we walk through the house. There's traditional hardwood and then this looks to be the original heart pine from when the home was built. So really gorgeous wood. A lot of times you'll see this throughout the entire house. Uh, in this case, it's just on the upper level, but really coveted and beautiful. So in terms of cost of living, that is gonna be another big benefit of living on the west side. You know, if you try to buy that type of house in Inman Park, it's gonna be well over a million dollars. Whereas uh, on the west side, you really can get in here in a budget still in the mid 300s, maybe in the low 300s, but it's gonna, you know, need some work. But, you know, in the mid 300s, your dollar's gonna go certainly a lot farther than it would in many other places this far in town. And, you know, if you're maybe in that five, $600,000 range, you're really gonna have a gorgeous house with a nice plot of land that you know 10 years from now is probably going to be in the multi-million dollars depending on where it's located so you know this is a great area if you're priced out of Buckhead if you're priced out of the neighborhoods on the east side if you're a younger person you want to be in town with lots of things to do maybe you're on a little bit of a lower budget whether it's renting or buying Again, the west side fits that bill. You know, it's still relatively affordable, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. So now is the time to get in this part of town. Now, I know a lot of you watching are very concerned. You have families, you're concerned about things like the quality of public schools. You're concerned about things like crime. You're concerned about, you know, feeling safe, walking around, being in your home. So uh, unfortunately, the public schools generally inside the perimeter are not gonna be good, are not gonna be very good with some exceptions like the city of Decatur. So if you are sending your kids it's a public school you're on the west side they certainly wouldn't be necessarily going to a bad school but they're probably not going to be a rated schools I'll share the resource again that I use to determine uh, the quality of schools this is from uh, the state of Georgia it's not from a third-party aggregator so I rely on it a little bit more but uh, you may want to look at a private school option which are surprisingly affordable from what I hear from people who are moving here from uh, the coasts or you might want to look at a charter school depending on where your address is uh, you could enter a lottery or go right into 
into uh, joining a charter school. So uh, you may want to look at other options, uh, but if that's your number one priority, uh, this may not be a good part of town for you. In terms of crime and safety, you know, uh, here's what I say. I feel very safe uh, on this part of town for the most part. Uh, Atlanta is very micro. Okay, you need to understand Atlanta is not like New York, where there's a very definitive bad part of town and good part of town. You can uh, drive, you know, one street down, even a couple blocks down Atlanta, and things can change very rapidly. So you don't want to judge a book by its cover. You really want to go to the house that you're looking at, see how the homes are maintained on the street, look for abandoned houses, look for sketchy foot traffic, talk to neighbors if you can, go during different parts of the day, different days of the week to formulate, you know, a decision on if you and your family feel safe. But uh, many neighborhoods on the west side, you know, I know I feel perfectly safe in. Uh, there's a few that, you know, I might not feel comfortable living in. I'm not even going to share those with you because uh, I don't want to steer you in any direction. But you got to check it out for yourself and you have to know how you can determine if you feel comfortable for you and your family or not. So I just mentioned uh, a lot of those, but really probably the best way is to talk to people that you know who live in those areas for many years to really get solid information about what it's like to live in that specific area. All right, so we covered a lot. I'm headed back uh, to the south side, to my part of town, but uh, I really love the west side. Uh, there's really a lot to love here, and the future is extremely bright. We covered a ton. Hopefully you have a better sense for you know, the amenities, the things to do, the cost of living. Uh, you got to see a home for sale on the market right now. So uh, listen, I think it's a good fit. I think this side of town is a great fit for a younger person or couple who wants to really have a lot to do at their fingertips, who likes going out a lot and likes having a lot of fun things to do. Maybe they're on a little bit lower of a budget. Uh, maybe they've been priced out of some other areas of town, but this would be a great location for first time home buyers uh, or for people who just want to be in an up and coming neighborhood. And for that reason, you know, it's a great place to invest in real estate as well. Uh, if you're an investor and you want to know what's the up and coming neighborhood, that's the question that I get most often from investors. It's the neighborhoods on the west side and it's the neighborhoods that are Beltline adjacent. It's one of the strongest anchors that you could have in terms of uh, future growth for property values. And that's a reality. So um, really hope you enjoyed that. Hope you will check out the west side of Atlanta. There's a lot to love here. I'm super excited about the growth of this area and seeing what the future is. And I'm telling you, 15 years from now, you're going to watch this video and um, you're going to say Mark was right. You know, the west side is uh, looking like a lot like what Inman Park is looking like in 2022. So hopefully there's a lot of growth in the future of the west side. Hopefully it's responsible growth. Uh, that respects the people and culture that uh, are here and that have been here for many years. Um, but regardless, I'm very hopeful for Atlanta and very hopeful for this part of town. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, go check out some of my other vlog tours. Till my next video, I'll see you next time.